Shorter days, chillier nights, and the changing of the leaves all signify the transition from summer to fall. For some, the sight of the first jack-o'-lantern on the front porch signifies the true beginning of the fall harvest season. You know, Ohio farmers grow a lot of pumpkins, and what better place to celebrate this most iconic of all vegetables than the Circleville Pumpkin Show? The show started in 1903 as a way to get the farmers to come to town. In 1904, the downtown merchants got involved, and so the, the display grew. In 1905, they added the merry-go-round, and it went from there. Um, the first pumpkin was the largest pumpkin grown in 1903, weighed 88 pounds. I've been growing pumpkins for 18 years. Well, I had the largest pumpkin here this year, weighed 1,622 pounds. Our uh, festival attendance depends, of course, on the weather, but on a good year, anywhere from 400 to 500,000 people. They come from all over the United States. We even have them from, from overseas. The pumpkin show is a little unique because, first, it is known as the greatest free show on earth, so someone can come here and spend the day, and unless you want to buy food, you do not have to spend money. You can see all of the exhibits and participate in what goes on downtown. Um, the Circleville Pumpkin Show itself contributes about a quarter of a million dollars to the, the makeup of the community. Well, pumpkins is a very important crop to our vegetable growers. It's our third largest fresh market vegetable in the state. And for farm markets, it can account for anywhere from 10 to 40 percent of their annual gross income. We've been growing pumpkins for 30 years. And when we first started out growing pumpkins, uh, we had just a few acres and now we're up to 40 acres of pumpkins and so we usually grow about three to four different varieties of pumpkins depending on size like this one right here or a smaller pumpkin depending on our need and so that's when we continually look for those resources from Ohio State. OSU Extension has lots of different educational opportunities for growers. Here at the station we've had pumpkin field days for over the past decade. The things we try to hit on there are insect control, weed control, and disease control. We've had a really good pumpkin crop this year. Even through the dry weather and some of the early rainfall, the disease pressure was low for us. We've been able to put on our applications of fungicides and insecticides the way we need to. And by you can, you can see here from this pumpkin, it has a great stem, it's a good solid pumpkin. This is the way our whole farm looks with, with our yield this year. And so we're very thankful for what we have. The role of the research stations is really critical in my opinion. Uh, what these stations do is give us a platform to actually conduct our research, to then see how those results are, to then give out to the growers uh, who would come to our field days. We really look at the university yield trials to see what pumpkins are yielding the best and what sizes will fit not only the everyday consumer but for the school kid when they come out and pick a pumpkin during the month of October. There are many family events that people can participate in when they come to the pumpkin show. There are some 460 vendors who provide food um, and all kinds of things for sale at the pumpkin show. There is pumpkin pie, pumpkin donuts, pumpkin fudge, pumpkin ice cream. You can get pumpkin elephant ears, pumpkin waffles. You can have pumpkin burgers, pumpkin tacos, pumpkin pizza. Um, there is almost anything that you can think of made with pumpkin here. While most people would need to take a special trip to the Circleville Pumpkin Show to sample pumpkin pizza and pumpkin burgers, researchers at Ohio State are working on ways to improve some more common pumpkin treats. So most of the pumpkins in this area are grown for jack-o'-lanterns, um, but there's also a fair number of pumpkins that get grown for pumpkin pies. And so what we're looking at is a way that you can um, grow pumpkins, that you can take the flesh out and make a good pumpkin pie, but also be able to take out the seed and make a good value-added um, seed that you can also sell. So we're trying to get those varieties, because many of the varieties turn out to be very good at both pumpkin pie and really good seeds, so that the farmer could grow something and get twice as much. They could get the flesh that they can sell for pumpkin pie, and they could get the seed that they could also sell for um, snack foods. Ohio State University is a key partner to Ohio pumpkin growers. Researchers and extension specialists work with Ohio farmers to help develop more productive varieties and find better ways to fight insects and disease, all in an effort to safeguard our fall family traditions for generations to come. For Comtech Digital Media, I'm John Rice.
takes forever.